Hey guys, Lance here, and this is my mate Sam. Hey guys. Now Sam asked me if I could build him a computer, and I thought, why not teach him how to build one, and we'll make a video for you guys to possibly learn a thing or two from as well. You might also see, we've got the GTX 1070 here, so we're both really excited to get our hands on the new 10 series from NVIDIA. Oh my, I said AMD. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys, it's going to be an awesome series, it's going to be blue and white build, we're going to have water cooling in it, and we're going to get it done for the lot of drawers at 7 o'clock. We're going to call it Project Blue Decks. Project Blue Decks. So let's run through the components that we've got for the build. First off, we have the ASUS Z170 AR. Now what's this Sam? Mother load. Mother load. Okay, so yeah, this is the motherboard, it's sort of middle of the range, but the main reason we picked it was because it was a white based motherboard without going too over the top price wise. It's got white accents around the input output and a little white heat sink down there. So that is why we picked that. Next up, we've got the Intel Core i7 6700K Skylake processor. So, of course, a top-of-the-range consumer-grade processor from Intel. And because there wasn't too much white with the build and the components that we had picked, we went with the Corsair Vengeance LPX memory kit. So this is a 16 gigabyte kit, 2666 megahertz. So that will fit nicely in there and add to the white of the build. Next up for storage, we went with the Samsung 850 EVO for the main boot SSD. This is a 250GB SSD, so that will make a nice startup drive with any main games that he wants to play on it. And of course, for a bit more storage, we went with the Western Digital 1TB Blue Drive. Of course, why not blue, since it's a blue and white thing. Now the graphics card, I think, would come to last, so let's just move that aside and go over a few of the other things that we have. So we went with the EVGA Supernova Power Supply, 750 watt. This is an 80 plus gold rated power supply. We'll open this up so you guys can have a look, but it's fully modular and comes with black sleeve cables. Now we didn't go out and get some blue sleeve cabling just yet, because we thought we'd see how the black sleeve cabling looked in the build first. But blue sleeve cabling is on the tables and may be coming later on for this. Uh, we'll come to the water cooling stuff next. Now we went with EK Waterblocks EK Eco Coolant in UV Blue. Now the reason we went with UV Blue is because most of the stuff we wanted to buy today and from retail stores so we could all get it at once. And they had this or they had Pastel Blue and the Pastel Blue wasn't really the shade that Sam liked. So we thought we'd go with this because it's a bit darker even though we don't have UV reactive lights it will still look very nice. We also went with the EK Supremacy Evo water block. Now we did get a blue water block. I've never really seen any builds done with it, so we thought it would be quite cool to do a build that had this water block in it, just to see how it looks. We both personally think it looks really nice, so we thought we'd go ahead with it. Now here we've got the EK water blocks EK X res. Now this is a 140 millimeter reservoir. It's the same size tube as I've got in my build back there, although this is a pump res combo. Now the reason we went for this is because it's a little bit cheaper. It means we save on buying two extra fittings. It also means we can save a bit of space and keep it all tidy. Now some of these parts we'll open up and get up close to so you guys can see what they all look like but we'll run through everything we've got first and of course for water cooling we've got a 240 millimeter EK radiator I believe this is I just want to check the thickness on this guys I didn't actually check when we bought everything I don't have a clue man okay this is 40 millimeters thick sorry about that guys but this will be plenty for just calling a CPU. Now we also have this Be Quiet Pure Wings 140mm fan just so we can take the exhaust fan off the case we have and put it on the front and have two intake fans and one exhaust. Now this is a fan I already had, it is used but we're going to chuck that in there as well. And of course, last of all, we have the Gigabyte G1 Gaming GeForce GTX 1070, which we think will be awesome for this build and will be a great graphics card overall. Nice and new and 
should be quite good looking in there. Really, really ridiculously good looking. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna look amazing. And then all of this is going to go into the Fantex yeah. Eclipse P400 Silent Edition case. After my build, I really like the Fantex case design, so we thought why not go with another one. This is a white case, and we'll get on to showing you guys some of these parts. And then we want to build the system outside of the case and make sure the main hardware components are working and that the system posts, and then we'll get to putting it all into this bad boy. Let's get to it. Alright, so here we have the case. You know what? This isn't going to work. Yeah. yeah. Use your feet. Got there. Hold on, hold on. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Far out. Bro, you open this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll give you my foot. Okay, yeah, give you the foot. Oh, there you go. Teamwork. Team effort. Right. Okay. So, here it is. This is the case. Just... Stand out the right way. It's on the back. What? This is the bottom. Oh, fuck. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. That's a nice looking case, if you ask me. I've really take this been up. wanting to do a white build, so this will be nice. Yep, yeah, peel that off. Oh, look at that. Take the front panel off. Do you know how to do that? Yep. You can take a look inside, see what it's got. Yeah. Alright. So we've got a little accessory box here. This case does have a basement as well, which will hide the cabling nicely. I think we'll come back to this a bit more soon. So this is on the front panel. We can see there's this sort of rubber mesh stuff here which is quite thick actually and also on these top plates here got there so got us a power supply that's yeah. all we got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little knife you got there little knife for a big man okay Ooh. So here we got all these sleeved cables. So, so you can see the nice black sleeving that EVGA have done. And why don't you go ahead and rip that out, Sam? He's showing us the instructions. We mean we don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> And there is the power supply in the this nice little supermarket bag style case. But it's longer than a standard length power supply. Um, so be aware if you do want to use this power supply, make sure the case that you're wanting will fit a power supply of this size. Which of course we did not check. No, I'm kidding, we checked. <laughs> So next we're going to go through the water cooling parts just to show you guys what these look like. We've got the pump reservoir combo here from EK. Again, I say it in every video but I love the packaging EK uses. So in here you got your usual stuff, instructions, tools, bits and pieces like that. <laughs> For your girlfriend's <laughs> hand. I don't, know what, don't know what that's for, maybe the instructions will tell us. And then of course here we have the pump 
Wizard Light combo. So we'll open this up and take a look. So that is it there. Now at this stage we're thinking of mounting it this way around if this is rotatable. So then we have the inlets and outlets behind the reservoir and we can't see them. And just to keep it all looking tidy, next up is the water block. This thing looks so cool. So there is all the fitting hardware, one of the fitting brackets. The instructions here. That thing I said about men not needing instructions, use them for this stuff. <laughs> Another thing, I don't know what that's for to be honest, I've never used one. Some thermal paste, this is very important to apply to your CPU before putting the water block on. And then here we have that blue EK Supremacy Evo water block, which looks awesome, look at that. So now, that looks awesome, and I think it will look very nice with blue coolant running through the tubing into this. And then of course the other two mounting brackets. Last but not least we have the Gigabyte G1 Gaming GeForce GTX 1070. So of course this will basically be the centerpiece of the build, and of course it's a very new graphics card. Now this graphics card is a non-reference PCB by Gigabyte. It's advertised as having four core clock profiles, with the highest being overclocking mode, which is advertised as having an 1822 megahertz base clock, which is pretty awesome. Now in here, we have quick start guide and driver disc, pretty normal stuff, probably won't really be needing that. And then in here we have the car. Let's rip into this and take a look. Oh, this is exciting, Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And there we have it. That is the card. Now it has a black and orange cooler. This is the Gigabyte Windforce cooler with the three fans. Of course, it has a backplate, but I mean, even the Founders Edition cards have backplates from NVIDIA, so you'd almost expect every single non reference card to have one as well. Now, you guys might also notice that this doesn't exactly go with the color scheme of the build. There probably isn't even many white ones out there, but the black and orange will be face down. You'll see the black on the top, and this here does have RGB lighting, so we can set that to blue or white, whatever Sam prefers. So now Sam, I want you to take the processor. Yeah, and we'll open that up. Should just be able to do it with your nails. That bit of paper. <laughs> oh, oh wait, 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 oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, use the knife. Yep, so we want to take that. Yep. Okay. So we want to take the plastic bit off. We want to make sure we don't touch the heat spreader on top, but we want to push down that little retention arm next to the socket. Okay. Yep, and pull it towards you slightly as you push it down, so it releases off the latch. Yep, and then we want to press it all the way back towards the camera. Yep, and then it'll pop open. Okay. And we can lean it back. Now we want to gently take the CPU out of there. Now one corner of the CPU will have a notch in it, which we want to line up with the notch on the socket, being careful not to touch the pins or the heat spreader of the CPU. See that bottom corner there? Yeah. So there's the notch there, and we can see a notch in that top okay. corner there. So that needs to sit up that way. That's... We want to make sure we don't bend any of those pins because they're very thin. Drop that in there, give it a little jiggle by the edges. And then we want to push that retention arm back down. We want to push that flap down and it's going to hook under that little screw. 
and then push the retention arm down and that should have pressure, that little black plastic cover should pop off. And then we want to push that arm all the way down under the latch. Cool, there we go. Now we'll grab the ram. Cool. Where's the knife? There it is. There's the knife. Where's the knife, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now there is that memory. Look at that. Show them the front as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there that is. Vengeance. Okay. I'm guessing you know how to do this one. Okay. Do you? Okay. Yes. Yes, buddy. Now only one side will unclip. So we just oh, want to okay, do the okay. two that are the same colour. Okay, okay. Yep. Alright. Yeah, your IT degree paid off. <laughs> Push it down so it clicks on both sides. Yeah. Now the other one in the other slot. Okay. Cool, so that's the memory in. Cool, good enough. This is just to make sure that all the components are working. Now we'll get out the power supply and plug in what we need to power it up and we'll just see if it posts. If it posts fine without any issues, we'll go ahead and start getting it all in the case. It's all connected up to the power supply now, so if we press this power button here, the moment of truth, let's hope that it all powers on and it's fine. So we've got the LED lights coming up on the top of the graphics card there. And we've got the ASUS splash screen on the monitor over there. So that is all we need. So CPU fan not detected, that's fine. We can switch it off and it's ready to put all into the case. Alright, so Lance has chucked on the motherboard. What we're going to do now is we're going to chuck on the radiator and we're going to chuck on the fans as well. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to put the fans about as level as the where the CPU is so that when we're doing the water cooling, the cables sort of line up. Um, and we're going to do that now. So let me just open up the radiator box. I swear to God, opening these boxes is such a mission for me. Alright. Cool, got the screws. And we have the radiator. Cool. Do you reckon I should chuck the fans on first? The same screws hold the fan and the radiator, so you line them up and put them on together. Okay. Unluggles! <laughs> Get the long screws out of the bag. Okay. So yeah, they're probably there, and then line okay. the fans up. Okay. So it's going to be there should there. be some screw holes. Okay, cool. Sweet.
And you can just do a time lapse of this. This part is going to take me some time. <laughs> I think you guys get the idea. We'll be back once he finally gets the fans on. <laughs> so we've just overcome probably the hardest part of the build so far and what would have been the hardest part overall. Now that was finding where to mount the pump and reservoir combo. Now you might notice that there's this little square section missing from the case and I've got this little plastic Fantex cover. Now those unscrew so I'll be feeding the cabling through there for the pump and reservoir and we've also drilled some holes on the back of the case to mount this perfectly so that will be mounted just there with the cabling coming out that hole where that plastic cover was. Now when we were getting all the parts for the water cooling build, we, we decided we were going to reuse my old fittings, the old barb fittings from when I had the soft tubing in my build. Now these are 13 outer diameter, 13 millimeters outer diameter and 10 millimeters inner diameter. And the store didn't sell any tubing and we were kind of wanting to save a bit of money by reusing my fittings because they're close to 10 New Zealand dollars each. Um, so this is the tubing we have to work with here, which should be plenty. We are just doing a CPU after all, but this should hopefully be enough, as well as hopefully having some left over to use with a funnel to fill the loop as well. <laughs> We've got all the tubing in. You can see that the system is all together except for the cabling now. So we're ready to fill the loop up and of course we've got the power supply plugged in here ready to prime the pump so we don't have any of the cabling connected we've got the jumper on the 24 pin and of course some paper towels down on that lovely new GTX 1070 um, we of course wouldn't want anything to accidentally drip onto there while we're filling it so that's the only thing that's really in a possible drip zone if any of those fittings were to not have a good seal on them so we've put those there we also really loved how this coolant that we've mixed up here came out basically an identical shade of blue to the water block we've got for the CPU so we're really happy about that so we'll go ahead and fill this oh but before we do though I wanted to mention just so this all sat nicely we've cable tied that to the grill on the basement of this case which we both agree also looks really nice so um, let's get to filling here we go yeah stop now flick the switch on the back and then probably in like a couple of seconds just switch it off straight away okay Ready? Yeah. Yes, yeah, stop. Yeah, leave it off. Fill it some more. <laughs> oh, man. God, that freaked me out, man. Yeah, stop. Okay. Plug the yeah. switch. Again. Yep. Yeah, stop. Oh, far out, man. <laughs> it's going way too fast. Yeah, it goes fast, as That's no, all good. It's starting to throw right. it all. Okay. Bro, that's coming out really nice, though, eh? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Again? Yep. It should start to fill. I should keep going. Yeah, go again. Yeah, that's starting to go pretty Ooh, well. That is starting to go pretty well. Okay. Should we put that up a bit more? Or? Yeah, we'll top it off a bit. Okay. And then what we want to do is tip the case around a bit just to get any air bubbles to come through it. Okay. Why are you shaking? <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. I don't want this thing to break. So 
we just leave that running for a bit? No leaks or drips that we can see. Yeah. It's not going to leak from there. No, I was just checking my... Oh, the fans. The fans. While we're waiting for this, um, <clears throat> Sam might want to tell you about why we don't have a rear exhaust fan, but we do have a top exhaust fan. Uh, I can't remember why. He can't remember why. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let me think. Anyway, <laughs> when, when we were putting the fans in, Sam didn't like how it was blocking off the uh, oh, that's right. shroud yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. And also oh, when yeah. we tried to put the 140mm fan in, we realised that the rear exhaust doesn't take a 140mm fan. So we've gone ahead and put the exhaust on the top of the case, and that also shows that white a lot more, and it's tucked away nicely up there. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. You guys probably can't see, but there's heaps of air bubbles rushing through the tubing now. Here it is. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> Come on, man. Don't freak me out like that. So that's basically as the build will look. Um, we've got to add all the cabling in, so we're going to go ahead and do all of that. We're going to leave it running or leave the pump running just to let it flow around and clear out some of that air, and also so it has a good chance to run, so we can make sure that there definitely has no leaks. But what do you think of it, Sam? I think it's looking real good. Yeah. I mean, um, we spent the whole day today going out and shopping, getting these parts, and I was it was actually really fun. I mean, I don't know too much about how to put a computer together, but um, after today, I definitely learned something new, and I think it's come, come across really well. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. Cool. Yeah. And um, one other small problem that happened along the way, <laughs> Sam sat on the <laughs> panel, <laughs> and okay. he bent it. We managed to bend it back, and you can't really tell, but um, yeah, it's, it's we were a little bit bad. worried about that. If you look at it in the right light, there's a bit of creasing around here and around there, <laughs> but it's barely noticeable, really. At least he didn't crack the plastic, but let's get to the cabling. So here it is in all its glory. It's been leak-free for 24 hours, so I've got all the cabling in, and now we've got Windows 10 installing in the background. Cool, and um, we've also taken the LED lights out the back of um, Lance's monitor over here just to test it out so that we can see how it looks. And it looks like it's it's coming along quite well. Um, we've also, uh, I'm wanting to get some some white sleeved cable extensions for the graphics card and also up here near the motherboard. Um, but other than that, it's looking really good. Yeah, so that's basically everything, guys. We got all the building done in one day which we were really happy about. And we'll put the side panel on and show you guys how it's looking, or how it will look, when it's all said and done. That looks awesome, and I'm really happy with it. I'm pretty sure Sam's yeah. happy with it. He's got to look at it every day, so I hope he is. Hell yeah. But yeah, we'll get in close. We'll end it off here, and we'll show you everything up close with some nice glamour shots or whatever. And um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I do hope you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Feel free to leave comments, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you, Sean. <laughs>
G. <laughs> Stop pointing at me, man. Are you recording? Are you recording? Why are you recording, man? <laughs>